Hi, I'm Kevin with the Pooley app, and today I'm giving you the getting started guide for how to make the most out of all Pooley's benefits for taking care of your hot tub or pool. So after you do onboarding, you're going to land here in the My Pool screen. Now you can go to Edit Pool if any of the details that you added during onboarding are not correct or complete. And that's important because Pooley is a system that curates an automatic schedule based on what pool you enter. For instance, if you're entering uh, for a hot tub, you might use a bromine sanitizer. So when you go to add a test, it'll say bromine. So it curates that kind of thing, but it also goes further than that because if you have siding that's one particular type, it'll recommend targets between different ranges depending on your siding. And all of that gets pre-filled for you as well as this to-do list. This to-do list is kind of your home base for Pooley. It allows you to quickly know exactly what your water needs at any given time. So right now it's telling you, let's add your first test. Now you can do that here from your to-do screen, but you can also go here to the scan button or the perform test. Now scan is a paid feature, but I wanna quickly demo that just to show you one of the features that we spent a ton of time in making really awesome. And what it does is it quickly calibrates your camera and then scans in the colors of your test strip. And as you can see here, this is an unused test strip. So all the, the numbers are pretty close to zero. But yeah, we're not gonna go forward with that because we wanna show it how most people that aren't club members would be able to add a test directly from the to-do screen or going back into the app going to perform tests. Once you do your first test, that to-do gets completed. The first time you go into this water test screen, you're gonna be offered a helpful tutorial that guides you through some of the essential features. You can always go back to it by hitting the question mark button here. Now I'll just highlight some of the top level things. One thing I'm gonna be talking about too is testing with test strips today. Of course you can use any test kit that you prefer the liquid test with the drops or bringing it into a pool store. Obviously test strips are gonna be the quickest way to get values and a lot of people are skeptical about the quality and the consistency of test strips. And that's why I've gone through hundreds of brands to figure out the best brand that's offered currently on the market, which is the Hawk manufactured test strips. We offer the pool style test strip. We sell those within the app. Uh, you can also find the AquaCheck 7 and the Clorox 6-way test strips that are offered uh, anywhere you can buy a test strip. So if you've never done test strips before, it basically corresponds to the boxes here, uh, the boxes on your test strip. And so the top one is total hardness, and then it goes to total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, um, and so on. I'll just highlight two features of Pooley that helps you with the test strips, make it even more accurate. It gives you that kind of leg up. One is that it uses this linear gradient instead of using boxes. So you know like in between the boxes, it's kind of hard to dial it into those. Pooley gives you very exact measurements, which means your dosages are gonna be even better. The other great feature that I use all the time is the circle button. Definitely try this one out because you can sort of rest your test strip above this great big colorful background and be able to dial in even easier to the color because you just compare and contrast with a big old background behind the test strip. So once you're done and satisfied with all the tests you've entered, and I'll quickly highlight, if you go to this Lee menu here, you can see there's plenty of tests that are added into pool. You can add basically anything and everything that your pool can be tested. All of the correct ranges and sets of problems when you get outside of those ranges have been input into Pooley so you have the answer for whatever problem you might encounter. For this first test, let's just say we have low chlorine. We hit save and now it's Pooley's going to go through and see which problems are in your pool right now. It shows you have one problem that you need to fix which is your low chlorine. So you simply go down to the solution picker here. As you see here, it shows all of the different unit types that you can add and it's telling you you need about 0.27 pounds of trichlor if you go down a little bit further it shows the effects of adding so this is really nice too to get to know your chemicals you'll be able to see exactly what is going to happen to your water by parts per million for each of these different solutions that are going to fix your problem are wondering what trichlor is because that's kind of the chemical term It'll tell you, you know, it's the most common stabilized sanitizer. You'd see it, and anything here is what you would see on the label of the pool branded thing. Now, unfortunately, in the pool industry, the branding of different chemicals is sort of an art form they do to confuse people when it should be really simple. It's the same ingredients, just branded many different ways. And sometimes they'll have different potencies of ingredients. For instance, the trichlor that I get at some stores is actually 
Act, uh, so you can edit to, it to whatever you'd like for any solution. Just make sure to check the label. Now let's go ahead and add that dosage. So tap add dosage, but let's say you're not ready to add this specific dosage. Maybe you're just going to the store and you're purchasing like a 10 pound bucket of trichlor. So you go down to the unit picker here and you'd select 10 pounds. Hit confirm and it shows you the equivalent units there. So I'm not gonna add it to the water, I'm gonna add it to my inventory. And now you're, uh, you can go back out here and here is your inventory. This shows you this 10 pounds of trichlor was just added there. Now you can access inventory for a mini screen. Now that we have your chemicals in your inventory, it's time to actually add them to your pool. So to do that, you can go to this plus menu here to quickly access the add dosage screen and you can add any chemical you want. But if you're fixing this problem right now, it makes sense to both go through the directions and then log the addition right here in line. And you can see it selects the correct amount to adjust. And if you have any question about what effects this is gonna have on your water, you can always scroll down and see the effects of adding. And you could add a little bit more if you want to make sure that there's a buffer with your free chlorine and you'll see that adjusted here. So let's go ahead and add it to our water. Now, once you add it to your water, few awesome things happen. First is that you have this great log kept in your history. So go to the history screen here and you'll see a new dot has been added. That represents the product edition here. Now this will aggregate over the time period that you have selected. And you'll also be able to see the complete total of all of the problems and additions that you've made over a month, as well as all the maintenance items and other things in this handy calendar here. So back in my pool, it's also nice because you see that your next to do is to retest and check the total chlorine is balanced. So you go back into the cycle of testing after you've added a chemical. And last thing I'll mention is that in your inventory, we had 10 pounds and now we have that amount was automatically deducted. So your inventory stays up to date. So we've tested our water, we've added our first chemical and logged that into Pooley. The last thing you need to do regularly as a pool owner or a pool caretaker is performing maintenance. Now maintenance is one of the most enjoyable and gratifying parts about pool ownership according to me. Some people don't really love it, and that's why they go with pool service provider to come and do the maintenance on their pool. But with Pooley, it is really simple. Uh, you, here it already shows you, you should probably log your first maintenance. And so we'll tap on that. And, and you can see it breaks it down for your regular weekly, monthly, and yearly maintenances. And typically you might do something like empty your skimmer baskets. So these are the default maintenance. You can always edit these maintenances and you can remove them from your um, listen here. You can also go ahead and add new to do's and new reminders. Uh, they give you, we have the option of regularly scheduled maintenance, and that gives you a duration between the maintenance. Uh, maybe there's a product that you add regularly that will give you also a duration between the additions. And then maybe there's a one time maintenance reminder that will just send you a notification at the date that you have the to do scheduled. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what it does once you've done a few things. So I have a robo vacuum and I do that regularly. And I also happen to just today go and empty my skimmer baskets. So we'll just save those. After you save it, your to-dos are updated and it shows you that your maintenance reminder was removed, but future to-dos, this is where if you wanted to see things that were beyond the window of four days is what is shown by default here. And you can change that default in preferences. But if you go into here and you show future to do's, you see now it's automatically scheduled the next time you should clean your robo vacuum. And the default recommendation is seven days. And the next time you should empty your skimmer basket. Now these maintenance items are in your to-do list. Next time you go to complete them, you can simply check them off. And that logs the maintenance for you right there. So today you've been able to add your first water test. You've been able to add a correct chemical dosage and then schedule a routine maintenance. Now you have almost everything you need to take care of your pool and be an empowered pool owner. If there's any other questions or any other things that happen to your hot tub or your pool, you can always check out under the balance tab, right under where you go view your water report, this ask Pooley form. And here you can see tons of questions that have been asked by the Pooley community. And you can even add your water test here, your previous water test, by, directly from your water test, 
or you can go and add a post here and just include your previous test. And you can see this is the test we just took and now you can get feedback directly on that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you see um, we're just getting started and there's many more things that Pooly can do for you. So I hope to see you next time. Until then, enjoy taking care of your pool. Bye-bye.